Australia's newest, biggest and fanciest cruise ship has finally arrived in Sydney at the end of her delivery voyage. The 109,000 gross tonne Pacific Encounter is the largest cruise ship to be permanently based in Australia and is the most significant new cruise ship to join P&O Cruises in the generation. The ship is a grand class cruise ship, originally built by Fink in 2002 for Princess Cruises. Between 2002 and 2020, the ship cruised as Star Princess, and this was the third ship in the Grand Class design, first pioneered by Princess Cruises back in 1998 with the Grand Princess. The Star Princess made headlines in 2006 when a fire broke out on the ship's balconies, leading to large-scale reform of fire detection systems on balconies for all cruise ships. The ship cruised with Princess in a variety of markets, including Hawaii, Alaska and Canada, before the COVID pandemic shut down cruising in 2020. During the latter part of 2021, the ship transferred to P&O Australia to prepare for her new life as Australia's largest cruise ship. The newly renamed Pacific Encounter underwent a significant maintenance and internal refurbishment in Singapore. Here she received the distinctive P&O Australia hull art. Her funnel was shortened slightly to allow her to fit under the Sydney Harbour Bridge and she received the giant P&O lettering on her funnel to top off the brand. Internally, the ship received many of the popular P&O Australia signature spaces, including the Blue Room nightclub, the Encounter Hotel Bar, the Waterfront Restaurant and the Pantry, P&O's casual eatery concept. What makes this ship stand out though is her scale and her design. At 109,000 tonnes, she is by far the largest cruise ship to sail with P&O Australia, around 39,000 tonnes bigger than the now retired Pacific Jewel and Pacific Dawn that she replaces. The ship has a higher balcony cabin ratio than any P&O Australia ship in history, and over 70% of the cabins have a view through either a balcony or a window. Not only this, but she will be joined by the equally large Pacific Adventure, the former Golden Princess, later this year. This gives P&O Australia a revitalised fleet of three former Princess vessels, the other being the superb Pacific Explorer, and you can check out a tour of the Pacific Explorer to get an idea of what the P&O experience is like on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash chrisframeofficial. So, what do you think of Australia's largest cruise ship? Have you cruised aboard or have you sailed with her when she was a star princess? And also, if you haven't travelled with this ship, have you travelled with a grand class cruise ship for either P&O Australia, P&O UK or Princess Cruises? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, I hope to see you on board.